Hello, I present Scott Spister Gravel Fire Tea in size medium from 2022. At that time it was available in such a nice bash in matte finish, which unfortunately gets dirty very easily, and classic black. In 2023 it was valued at almost 1900 euros and Scott changed its color to orange. Basically it's almost the same by Cosmetrix 20, which I reviewed in another movie. Different is threaded bottom bracket, road handlebar and better equipment. Matrix is fitness bike, speedster is gravel and such adnotation cost 400 euros. Because this is the difference in price between these bikes. I'm just kidding. Of course, speedster has more expensive GRX parts. Only the shifters cost over 200 euros, not to mention cranks, brakes, bar tapes or discs. Rest of the parts, like this tragic seat post, which I unfortunately have to watch again, saddle, handlebar and stem, with option of attaching very expensive dedicated accessory mounts, are made by Syncros, which is Scott's sub-brand. Such a part choice, massive cockpit and heavy wheels makes that bike weighs almost 11 kilograms. Fortunately, obligatory at this price level through axles makes it easy and quick to change the wheels to something stiffer and lighter, and if one day you will change the frame to carbon one, wheels can be moved to it without any problems. Rare Praxis cranks are also very interesting because they should replace stock GRX but only from this model year. Like in most gravel bikes, it is possible to attach a rack and mud guards. Frame has 4 months for accessories, was made in Hungary, and as I mentioned before, it differs from Matrix by having a normal, threaded bottom bracket instead of press fit, and for me, this is very big plus. Stock bike had wide 45mm tires, but in this case they were changed to better and faster rolling Continental Terra Speed 40. Scott is a good brand, but its weakness very often were wheels, which were bending in metrics, probably even from standing, and were quickly replaced. In this case they also start making strange sounds, although this bike is practically new. Soon I'm going to release new movie with Scott Addix 20, and I will also show one mysterious case. However, these are just details. Important things such as bottom bracket and headset cable routing are done well. And in bikes I mentioned before, with a mileage of over 4000 km, riding all the time, nothing serious happens. Although I'm not a fan of gravel bikes, and I think that more universal, easier to ride, not to mention service, are cross and fitness bikes, I have to admit that Spitzer's interesting option. It looks modern and tidy, Thanks to decent tires is very fast and GRX 2x10 group set guarantees long and trouble-free life and relatively cheap exploitation. All in all, the only thing I would change in it are wheels, bar tape and seat post. Thanks for watching, if you have any questions feel free to write in the comments and if you like the video drop a like and subscribe my channel where I publish new movies every Monday and Thursday. See ya!